Our rivers are in poor health. They're too fragmented. There are over a million dams in Europe, most are essential for irrigation, energy production or drinking water, but others are no longer in use. They're abandoned. A movement is underway. It aims to remove these remnants of the last century, improve water quality and halt the collapse of biodiversity. We're in Castilla y León, one of Europe's most advanced regions in terms of river restoration. How are things going? Well, let's find out. The European Union's biodiversity strategy aims to free up 25,000 kilometers of rivers before 2030. This includes removing unnecessary barriers. I visited this demolition site. This dam is the remains of a hydroelectric station that had been abandoned for decades. This is an obsolete structure that presents structural risks. It is having a negative impact on water quality, which is forcing us to take other measures that are more costly than removing the structure itself. The water will flow through here where the dam is? Nine meters lower, the river will be restored to the state it was in a few decades ago. These are the cheapest actions there are because they last forever. More than 330 abandoned dams were removed in Europe last year. A third of them were in Spain. However, these projects often face reluctance from the locals, as here in the neighboring village. They should have been emptied and cleaned. It costs a lot of money to remove a dam that wasn't really bothering anyone. If you remove it, the river flows uselessly into the sea. What do they want to do with the water, with all the problems we have? I don't know, do they want to privatize it? I spoke about all of this to Pau, a specialist committed to the liberation of rivers. She showed me some of the false arguments put forward by opponents on the internet. They make people fear that there will be no more water to put out fires or for irrigation. But these infrastructures are abandoned and not being used. A lot of them are filled to the brim with sediment. Improving the health of rivers, preventing flooding, erosion of the riverbed, avoiding bad water quality, for example, the proliferation of toxic algae. These are direct benefits for the people. Spain has changed its strategy on dams, but also on lateral river management. I realized this when I went a little further north to the Orbigo Valley, which is plagued by flooding. 1914, 1930 and 1910. The problem in this village, through which pilgrims on their way to Santiago de Compostela pass, is not a dam, but rather the narrowness of the river. If you look at old photos, you can see that the whole length of the bridge is actually the river area. These houses below are a problem because on the one hand, they worsen the state of the river, and on the other, they are at risk in the event of floods. Restoring floodplains is another objective of the European Water Framework Directive. This is illustrated here by the fact that the dikes have been withdrawn and moved further away to allow the river to overflow its banks. Is it possible for the river to go in a different direction? Yes, it could go in another direction. In the section we completed 11 years ago, the river developed in other positions. In general, it has become wider. José Ignacio took me to the area where work was carried out a decade ago. During the spring after the work was completed, there was heavy rain, which caused a considerable increase in water flow, and it turned out that nothing happened. So this avoids paying damages? It avoids the need to pay a lot of compensation, and in some cases, it's very cost-effective. Here, too, the work had caused incomprehension among residents, including the village mayor, but he's changed his mind. Before, what we did was channel as much as possible. We constrained the river, and in the event of flooding, there was a much more powerful flow. It tore up a lot of material, dug up the river, it damaged the river's ecosystem. Now, there is much less damage. It took us a while to understand this, but it's indeed a good solution. The Nature Restoration Act, which is being debated at the European level, aims to improve the health of the many rivers in poor condition, where species are declining at an alarming rate. 
I continued my journey to the north of Europe in Estonia, a country that's doing its part. How are you doing? Nice to I'm meet you. Nice good, to good. How are you? Nice nice to you. Tanel Adder works for the Estonian government. This is one of the greatest examples of um, public debate going on, whether to remove the dam or leave it as it is for hydropower uh, production. At the foot of the dam, fishermen take advantage of this barrier from the last century, against which the salmon gather. Fishermen are happy here. They can fish salmon and trout here. The salmon wants to get to the spawning ground, but the dam is blocking the way. And we lose the great river potential which we have here. This dam is an exception. The country has spent millions of euros to reconnect its rivers with financial support from the EU. Several obsolete obstacles have been removed from the river Pernu. The Sindhi site is an emblem of this policy. Here once stood a huge barrier, the remains of a former wool factory. A few years later, the landscape has been transformed. The whole river was blocked for the people as well, but now uh, there's a lot of competitions uh, for the water sports here. Everybody can access. We can see a happy river now. The number of the inhabitants uh, is increasing after many, many years of decrease. And we see also the companies uh, starting to look for the, to invest here. So it's very nice uh, changes for, for this location. The opening up of 3,000 kilometers of rivers upstream has had an impact on around 30 species of fish. Scientists so are monitoring them. We, are catching we only had uh, migratory fish downstream of the dam, and uh, now we have them everywhere upstream. It is good for fishermen, for tourists, and it is good for people's souls. Here, as elsewhere, restocking will take time, but can it be sped up? We caught up with a group of fishermen who are rolling up their sleeves. We have a team of volunteers who are releasing thousands of salmon and we're going to help them. The plan is uh, to put salmon in the uh, uh, Baden River, 90,000 today. Yeah? They stay in the river and then they travel to the sea, then they come back here to spawn, increase the population here. Oh, it's wriggling. I don't think I've ever held so many animals in my hands. We'll let these baby salmon go on their way and we'll see you soon on the road to green.